Hey, it's Jabo. Welcome to Brickstar. I got a package from Jenny, aka Buggles Kelly. Uh, and it feels like a t-shirt, so I just wore a plain white t-shirt. I'm guessing it's a t-shirt. Uh, we got another package from the Netherlands. I got a package from Arizona. I got a package from DD Bricks. I got a package from Germany. And then there's another package from Lego. So we're going to see what's in all these packages. So we're going to start with the package from Buggles Kelly, a.k.a. Jenny. And, oh. <laughs> I think she was inspired by a, a video we had before. So, my son, who's recently, uh, he says, I hope you like it, I hope you fix it, says uh, Jenny. But my son recently, yes, it's the right size, recently got this shirt in his size, but it is the uh, Kraftwerk Tour de France uh, t-shirt. I need to put this on. Yes, I like it. <laughs> Thank you, Jenny. It's the right size, fits perfectly. And so now we can, we, uh, it's another example where they might be bricks and I can have matching shirts. We got several shirts. I raised my son right. He, he likes a lot of the same things I do. He's got his own interests too, but I'm very proud of him for appreciating the classics, like craft work. <laughs> and um, so we got a note. Let's see, I think it starts on this side. It says, hey Jabo, hope all is well with you and yours. Congrats on the baby. That's baby Milo, who's doing very well, despite the shortage of formula here in the United States. So that's something that does worry uh, my daughter. She's got a couple of cans, so we're, uh, we're always on the lookout. <laughs> For the formula that he needs to supplement his diet but milo is doing uh, quite well so thank you for that and it says the sun is out and summer is coming still loving your vlogs <laughs> those are those are my videos where i talk about what i'm doing <laughs> in case anybody's wondering <laughs> i still uh, oh she says still loving your vlogs you make me smile so i'm happy it says love buggles 37 did I call you Buggles Kelly? Well, it says Buggles Kelly. It's Buggles 37. Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> have you watched the film yet? <laughs> so she's talking about the, uh, is it William Hay? So I did watch, the, There's. she sent me a, a DVD that had two films on it. One was Convict 99, and the other one was uh, about, I forget the name of the video. Or the movie. It's a movie. It's like from like 1939 or something. It's from a long time ago. Uh, it was um, Mr. Porter. It's where the... <laughs> anyway, it has to do with uh, uh, this uh, man that becomes... His sister wanted him to have a, a well-to-do job or something, but he becomes the train master at this station called Buggles Kelly, which that's, I think that's where you get uh, the name Buggles Kelly. I will say this... Uh, I had a hard time understanding what they were saying because they were speaking in English. <laughs> it's very hard. Uh, but uh, I did uh, see why you it, it's something that you think what I would appreciate because it's kind of like Thomas the Tank Engine before Thomas the Tank Engine. Uh, they, it, it was like all these mishaps happening. Uh, they destroyed their trucks. They, those are the little gondola-looking cars. Uh, as soon as they... they he was trying... So the... the the, the station, Buggles Kelly, was just dilapidated. Everything's falling apart. Nobody, no trains ever stopped there. And so it was all about him trying to get s some order. But he himself is, a, you know, it's a comedy. It's, it's a comedy. The movie is a comedy. And this guy's uh, it's got his own quirks about him. But it, it was just funny for those reasons, seeing the accidents. And it's a little bit of slapstick with that kind of stuff with the, the train stuff. And a lot of train stuff in the video. So it's neat seeing the, the vintage uh, stuff from England, which I think this is where that would have been filmed. It was in England. Uh, but the one, it's, it's like, I'm a little odd person. So one of the things that struck me in that was he mentioned a town called Kilkenny where the cats are. And I was like, oh, that's where the Kilkenny cats got their name. <laughs> Uh, it, and Kilkenny Cats is one of those bands that came out of Athens, Georgia in the 
early 80s, you know, we had like REM, Pylon, uh, oh, there's so many others that were from the, the Athens area and Kilkenny Cats. Uh, I think Lava Love, there, there's so many others. I can't even, there's some really good bands, um, I think, independent or they or alternative is what people might have called them, but uh, Kilkenny Cats. So I thought Kilkenny Cats was the name they just came up with. And I'm like, oh, it's a place, and it's actually, I guess they're known for the cats, because he said Kilkenny, where the cats are, or where the cats come from. And I was like, oh, that's the Kilkenny cats. So, and then uh, the whole thing uh, ends up, the movie ends up with, uh, there's, there's like these gun runners, and they're trying to get them captured or whatever. So they're on the train, the train's going like 100 miles an hour, and the one boy on there, he's like hitting them in the head, and then they end up crashing this, into the station where the police are and they get the gun runners but the only thing that the thing that stood out was the kill kenny cats <clears throat> yes i'm odd so and I, I know you didn't come here to hear about the kill kenny cats i did a video uh, a while back on uh, pete buck comic book pete buck is a uh, guitarist from rem uh, the band and i sold that comic book years ago but like nine years ago i did a video on the pete buck two comic book. I need to do a video on the Pete Buck one comic book. That was filmed with a Panasonic uh, camera, so it's, the audio is really bad on that video. Thumb through the pages here. See, it's just a black and white comic book. And it has a cameo by the Kilkenny Cats. There they are, Kilkenny Cats. That's when I was really trying to figure out what I wanted to do with YouTube. But thank you for reminding me of that. Uh, but yes, I did watch uh, the Mr. Porter one. All right, so now we got an order. This is from the Netherlands. And let's see. I think this is one of my Bricklink orders. It looks like one of my Bricklink orders. I didn't think it was coming from the Netherlands. I thought this guy was in... Um, I thought he was in Hungary or one of the other countries. So, yeah, it's a different, it's a different country, which I can't even read here than the Netherlands, but um, he happened to, uh, let me get this out of here, he put some tipper truck parts uh, in, in his store, and he had like 16 tippers, so I had to get those, and then also got some 4 by 10 plates, so yes, I haven't forgot about uh, the tipper truck army, so I think what I'll do, it's probably hard to see some of this, I'm going to come around to the other side of the camera. I think I'll do this one. This is from Didi Bricks, who I think I've placed more orders from his store than any other store in the last two years. So Didi Bricks from Thailand. Always wraps it in bubble wrap. A uh -oh, warning choking hazard, so I, I promise I will not try to eat whatever is in here from Didi Bricks. Yeah. All right. I'll keep the bubble wrap. So what do we got from Didi Bricks? I am trying to piece together some various uh, sets. I think uh, these grays, yeah, these light bluish grays, these are all, all parts for either Ant-Man, the Ant-Man uh, bust, or the Ferguson tractor. I know those dishes are for the Ferguson tractor. Uh, so after I get done with this video, I'm gonna go put all those parts away for that. So that's gonna be a lot of those parts for that. Oh yeah, there's more stuff in here. Oh look. More tipper truck parts. <laughs> and have a lot of tipper trucks. Oh yeah, this is definitely for the Ferguson tractor. So they don't, the, this wheel is supposed to be light bluish gray and it only came in the Ferguson tractor. So this is my substitute. I'm using the pearl gray. It's not as dark as black. It's not as dark as dark gray. I was just like, okay, I'll just go with the pearl for now. I'm hoping that one day they release this part in light bluish gray in another set. It could happen, you never know. Um, there's some vintage parts for various vintage sets, and then the, uh, the hand, I think that's for the Ant-Man set. I think some of these are for the Ant-Man set. I cannot, I cannot believe I couldn't find a uh, two by three plate. Why did I buy two by three plates? I'm surely I have some in my collection. I think that's for Ant-Man or the Ferguson tractor. And then you yeah, have some more Ant-Man Ferguson tractor parts. And then, Four by ten plates, tipper truck parts, and this base plate, which I think is for one of the Weetabix sets that I'm going to be uh, piecing together. Let me move all this stuff. 
So next we'll do this uh, brick link order. It's from a store in Arizona. I forget the name of the store. What did I go to this store for? Ah, uh, I know what I went to this store for. So I uh, showed in the last video some of the things I had been trying to piece together. One of them was uh, the set with Francisco Bernilli. And so I needed two stickered pieces. Actually, this, I think this is a printed piece for the little forklift guy. And then uh, the stickered piece for World Grand Prix that goes on one of the things in the set. So these are the only two parts I think I had left uh, that I needed. So now that set is complete. And that was, uh, I had bought the set for $3.50 and it was incomplete. And then I, yeah, I went through all my collection and basically that's what I needed <laughs> uh, to complete it after I got the other parts from my collection. Ah, I got R2-D2. So I'm missing so many things from Star Wars sets, and I'm pretty sure that R2-D2 is in the basement, but it was so cheap. I just went ahead and bought the standard R2-D2. I bought some lightsaber blades, which are needed to complete some of those sets I'm working on. Uh, yeah, this is more, just various things I'm working to complete. So they're all, it's for sets. That goes to one of the sets. I think this is one of the uh, Yoda Dagobah set needed these. And this is the door, and this is the one that is very rare. It's only in the breakdown assistance things, and I want to make sure it's the right orientation. So hold on. Whoo, yes, it is. So this, uh, the store was Katusha, K-A-T-U-S-H-A. And this is one of those parts where it's the, the right version is more expensive than the left version. The other one came in a set that's a little more common, the hamburger stand. And I was like, it'd be one of those that's easy to mix up. Uh, but yeah, it's the right ones. So this is for the ANW Root Beer Breakdown Assistance truck. And then I got some yellow one by twos. So yes, I am still getting parts for the Tipper Truck Army. And that door, uh, his price was actually a lot higher than some in Europe. But I did look at the stores in Europe, and in order for me to get it, there weren't enough other parts in those stores. And by the time I paid shipping, it would be actually be more. So I paid, I think, three or four times the price of what others are. But he was the one in the U.S., so by the time, yeah, with shipping, it was just cheaper to buy. I'm pointing because it's down. I threw it over here. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, it was cheaper to buy it from him for more. Odd, right? But yeah, yeah, you, you have to get in any store, whether it be in the same country you're in or another country. I always look at the ship, and I, I can't tell you how many times I've gone to place an order in the U.S. and I, the order would be like three or four ounces, and then they charge me like nine dollars for shipping. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm like, why, why, why are you going to charge more than it would cost to ship at Priority Mail? So, you know, even if you put it in a padded envelope, it'd be like eight dollars and forty-five cent to ship it priority mail in a padded envelope that you don't even have to buy, that the postal service gives you for free. And why are you gonna charge me more than that for far less, something you could ship for 350 to $4? I mean, yes, you could charge a handling fee, uh, but it just, I, I, I've had so many times I've filled up my cart and I go to the checkout and I'm like, you gotta be kidding. So yeah oh my <laughs> this is going to be interesting uh this is from du this is from a seller dupla duplicata or something they're in germany and they mostly only sell duplo parts and check it out oh it's the duplo one of the duplo dragons uh, a little bit worn uh so uh, we did a um interview with in talk over on brick trains channel and she got the duplo castle and they got me down the rabbit hole of buying the duplo dragons this is not the one from the great big castle it's from one of the other castle sets i think there are four different dragons um so this is one of them and this is another one this is the green one i hope these are complete i don't i don't know enough about these this is the first time i've actually held one of these uh, it says 2004 on the bottom of it, but it's a green and dark tan um, dragon. And then we got this one, which is black and red. Boy, this thing's going to need... Oh, I wonder if I can clean this up. It's got scratches and stuff on it. 
which is not surprising with the Duplo toy because it probably was heavily played with, but it seems to have en endured. <laughs> I mean, it's still here. Uh, but yeah, this black and red dragon. So I got that. And then I also picked up, I thought about piecing together some of the other sets. And the main thing with some of the castle sets is the figures and the weapons. So I think I tried to get one of the figures that goes one of the, one of the dragon sets that's small. And I th if I remember right, if I get the figure and his weapon, then everything else is just like regular bricks. So I may be able to piece together one of the small castle sets. But yeah, that's all it was, was uh, the dragons. He had uh, three of the dragons. I th there may be a fourth one. I can't remember which one came in the set that Kim had. And um, but yeah, I just had to get Duplo Dragons. Rawr. All right, one more package. So what did I get from Lego? Lego's been taking a lot of my money, but uh, thank you, Lego, for raising your prices, apparently, in the future. I'm, it'll, it'll help me uh, not spend so much money. I'll just drop my base plate. All right, what do we get? Oh, we, oh, oh. We got... I finally got the tiger. I got Tony and, of course, the free items with that. There's actually something else I ordered that was pre-ordered. So I used the opportunity to do this set and a pre-order to get two more gifts with purchases. <laughs> uh, ABR, ABR, always be recording. <laughs> so I went over here. I did this fell on the floor and, and, and I stepped on it. <laughs> But I wasn't recording. You wouldn't have been able to see it anyway. That is the haul. Thanks, Buggles Kelly, for the awesome Craftwork Tour de France shirt. Got some dragons now. Happy about that. And now I'm going to be going, putting all this stuff away. Uh, hopefully, <laughs> I keep buying two tipper truck parts, but I'm never doing like tipper truck videos. So I'm hoping this summer I can do something uh, with those since we got so many of them now. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go put this stuff away. I'm not going to film doing this, but I should be pretty close to getting the Ferguson tractor parts where I could actually build it if I had the instructions. And the Ant-Man said I'm getting very, very close to completing that. And I did start building the Vincent Van Koff set um, just on, like, the second bag. So it's probably going to take me a few days to do that. I've been doing a little bit in the evening is what I've been doing with that. But anyway... Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you want more random videos. And maybe I'll try to keep the camera on the next time I step on a Lego set. See ya.